Come on. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> this this guy's corpse is just getting unceremoniously tossed. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scale Tree. And welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. Whew. As you can see, we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode, about to jump into the Sub-Zero sauna. And before we go in, I have two things I want to say. The first is that I completely forgot about using Glow Mob yet again in the last episode. I'm really sorry if that frustrated any of you. It definitely frustrates me in retrospect now that I've had like a moment to stretch and get some water, you know, all the good stuff. I'm praying next time I do a night mission, I will be able to uh, <laughs> redeem my lost honor after being such a complete and utter goober. The other thing is I'm going to do my question of the day right away because the theming of this cave gave me a good idea for one. Are you guys hot weather people or cold weather people? Me, personally, I am such a cold weather person. Like, <laughs> give me snow, give me autumn rain, give me the fall colors, give me a nice gloomy atmosphere. I really dig that kind of stuff. I can put on as many layers as I want, and I don't have to feel like I'm melting out of my skin. So, you know, I view that as a good thing. Anyway, all that said and done, no hesitation. We are exploring this sauna. Which for some reason has no fire Pikmin that it's requesting we bring with. So honestly, I'm not entirely sure what to think. I'm going auto because why not? But this is... I, I want to keep it real with you. This is incredibly odd to me. Any nectar in here? Oh! No, but there are nuggets! Well, isn't that just lovely? <laughs> what a great surprise to get this cave off. Alright. This is a fairly small sub-level. Looks like this side, there's a little ledge down. I see enemies in here, though, and... Enemies are fun to fight, so... Let's go! Is that a frosty thing? No? What is this? Well, I broke something. What that something is, is debatable. Uh, hopefully it wasn't, um, important? Question mark? Also, I may as well just... Yeah. At least this cave should hopefully go overall faster than engulfed. In Gulfed Castle, there was this constant lingering fear that everything was going to go horribly wrong. But now I'm back in, you know, normal cave mode. The kind of cave where I can sit back and chill and relax, knowing that time on the overworld isn't going all that fast, and we can just ease our way through this. We can let ourselves rest and strategize and have a chance to talk and discuss things. <laughs> I basically said the same thing twice. Also, my computer just jingled saying that my battery is low. One second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm really sorry about that and for being unprofessional also in the engulfed castle. As you guys know, this is a hobby of mine. I do not have nearly the volume of subscribers <laughs> to call this a job. And I'm still kind of learning the ropes of how to do this so that I minimize disruptions like those moving forward. It's uh, it's all a learning process. Hopefully by the time I begin my next Let's Play, which uh, who knows what it will be, but definitely my next Pikmin Let's Play will be free deluxe. Uh, hopefully around that time everything is going to be 
a lot cleaner. Oh. Oh, are you kidding? This Wally Hop causes a frosty... Oh, oh my goodness, guys! Okay. Alright, let's calm down. <laughs> uh, let's calm down, everyone. I guess those things are ice geysers. So that's good to know. I trust my ice Pikmin to survive this Wally Hop because, frankly, they aren't very threatening. Which is a nice change from what they were like before. Although, I, I still remember being so intimidated by that giant Wally Hop <laughs> in Seafloor Resort. And then it turned out to just die immediately because it fell while frozen. That clip still kills me. If I ever make like a series highlight video or something, going over my favorite moments in this whole Let's Play, that's 100% making it into the cut. Like, there's, there's no way it isn't. What is this? Okay. That's what I thought, it is all poison. Ochi can't handle it either. What in the world? Am I missing something? I can't get past that. Is there- wait, might there be like a white candy pop bud or something in here? That's the only thing I can think of, other than having to just come back at a later date for that one last treasure. <gasps> oh. Oh, yes! Yes, please! Give me some ice Pikmin! Oh, sorry. Not ice Pikmin. Give me some white Pikmin! Oh. Well, I didn't get to do the cool trick, but I don't think that matters. I want to pluck my new babies! Hey! Hello, old friends! White Pikmin this time. I can't wait to find out what qualities these little guys have. That's the spirit, Colin. No more going, oh my goodness, there's no way this type of Pikmin was discovered before. No, now it's just pure joy at learning all the things. Hell yeah, you understand. The White Pikmin. Rare White Pikmin come from white candy pop buds that bloom in caves. They're small and notably fast on their feet, but their attacks are lacking. Imbued with enough poison to be lethal to a bulb orb, these wily Pikmin are resistant to poisonous gas themselves. But poison I'm sure they aren't a threat to us, but I suggest you handle them with care. Oh, trust me, I plan to. These guys are buddies and friends. This is a twist I did not see coming, like, when I first came into this cave. Oh my goodness! Come on, little fellas! Let's destroy this poison geyser! And grab some more goodies! Oh, yes. Fantastic. We've got the Pikmin 2 peeps back! I'm kind of surprised that we got both white and purple Pikmin before we got winged Pikmin, though. I was sure winged Pikmin would be in a cave somewhere out here, since rock Pikmin were in the Blossoming Arcadia. But, um, I mean, oh well. But who am I to judge, right? <laughs> Let's keep moving! Woo! I'm so pumped. I don't know why I'm feeling so cheerful this afternoon, but I really am. <laughs> what a great day. Maybe it's the long weekend and oh my goodness. We got a frosty overlay here. And a castaway. Frost on the lens must be pretty cold. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh lord. Um, is this something I can break? Okay, I guess the thing behind it was something I could break. I was thinking of the giant thing in front- okay, never mind. <laughs> it is breakable. That much is true. What's down here? 
Ooh. Leaving me feeling a little claustrophobic. And afraid. I'm kind of worried about having my non-ice Pikmin do stuff right now. Is it too cold for them? Uh... I mean, thank you for the falling stalactites. I'm pretty sure it's stalactites that are one on the ceiling and not stalagmites. I think those are the floor ones. But admittedly, it's it's been a second. Blue Pikmin, I'm sorry, you guys are the renewable resource. You're much more renewable than a... Uh, uh, man, I didn't do the trick again. Oh well. Welcome back to life as White Pikmin. Oh boy. Okay, so there's a button down here that I can't press. It looks like I am going to have to dismount and leave Ochi. Oh. Oh boy. That's what I worried about. Hold up, there's a Pikmin shivering from the cold. There must be something we can do for it. Rouse them with the whistle. Maybe if they jump on Ochi, they'll warm up. But what could be making it so cold down here in the first place? Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Okay, so they have to stay on Ochi for warmth. Duly noted, but... How am I gonna get anywhere like this? I need this button to be pressed. Huh. Unless... Okay. Alright. Well, while we have Ochi nearby, they're warm. So... Well, okay. Only for a second. Only for a second are they warm. Good to know. I didn't see anything immediately that looked like it could heat the place up. Clearly I need to go alone as Kip Kip into these areas. What do I do? Hmm. Oh god. This is gonna be a nightmare. I have no idea what I'm doing. Not even a little. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that my Pikmin are gonna be really cold. And that I'm gonna need to regularly call them back. Ugh. And myself too, I suppose. Whoa my god! All right, calm down, everybody. Calm down, calm down. We're gonna gather a couple more friends, and we're gonna figure out what we're doing. There's going to be a way to resolve this. I believe. Oh, no, 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 no. Ice Pikmin, are you serious? Okay. That guy's under ice. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Come on. Come on, fellas. I need Ice Pikmin. I need- er, what, Sorry, Ice Pikmin. Oh my god. White Pikmin. You guys can do this. Alright, that's a treasure. That's good to see. I have no means of carrying these things out right now. Oh my gosh. Alright, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. I'm so confused. How do I get everybody out of this? Is 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 there something else hiding under here? Cold air dissipated. <gasps> oh, Okay, okay. Sorry for running around like a confused chicken with with their head cut off. I guess those ice bricks are like blocks of dry ice or something? 
And they're keeping this area cold? Or just blocks of ice in general. Honestly, I think dry ice would be <laughs> pretty dangerous down here. This is a planet that relies, where whose creatures tend to rely on oxygen to live, so. Interesting. Okay. Ah, yes. Uh, run, everybody. Run. And this means that we can finally, finally, finally actually get moving on stuff. And let's kill all of these fish before they cause us unnecessary grief. Fabulous. You guys keep working on that. We got plenty of ice Pikmin that can be doing things. Actually, plenty of general Pikmin who should be coming over. Fellas! Welcome back. Blue Pikmin. Pikmin are having trouble. Uh, where? Where are they having trouble? Hmm. I'll figure that out in a second. I think it's not as important right now. Okay. Ice Pikmin. I guess I need one more blue Pikmin. Oh, gosh. Oh, or maybe it's just that. Are you a Frosty Dweevil? Are you an Ice Dweevil? Oh, that's awesome! Ochi, Ochi. Oh, yeah. This is a disaster. <laughs> My management can be better. I, I clearly can see that. I need to remember that basically blue Pikmin have to be my carrying Pikmin because of all the water, but... Ah, say la vie. <clears throat> Checking the ID info right now. Frise from Planet Enohi. A dedicated composer traveling with a famous opera singer and a TV crew, hoping to find inspiration for an upcoming project. Hmm. So I'm guessing it's a different TV crew than the one Muggs is part of? Interesting. She's very pretty. A musician. Looks like she was riding along on the TV crew ship. Maybe he knows the TV reporter. He? Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I am terribly sorry for misgendering you. Oh boy. Where- where are all of my blue Pikmin? <laughs> I don't want to... change my ice Pikmin, but very clearly... I need blue Pikmin to manage the carrying in this sub-level, at least. I don't care as much about the corpses... I know they give Sparklium, but... I need to remember the main objective. Which is to take care of all of these things. Come on. Wow. Uh, <laughs> this, this guy's corpse is just getting unceremoniously tossed. I know there's an ice Pikmin on here, I just needed to get it moving. Come on. You guys can do it. I have faith in you. Anything else? No, I think that's the last major thing I need to grab. Uh-oh. Hmm. <gasps> oh, okay. And this is what I could use some ice Pikmin for. It's been a while since I've needed to use them for an environmental reason like this. And, you know what? I don't care. I want to keep moving. I'm thinking at least one more sub-level for this video sounds like a good place to stop. 66%. Oh, and it's the last sub-level, too! Isn't that perfect? A nice, calm, little cave after the... <laughs> complete and utter insanity of the engulfed Oh. My god. Is that a snowy frost variant of of a armored cannon beetle? That's crazy. Extremely cool, though. Uh... What was even in there? 
Oh, more Pikmin. Okay, more Ice Pikmin, which very obviously is probably the kind I need here. So I'm disbanding over here because if this thing can shoot giant snowballs or boulders or whatever, I'd rather they not be in the immediate line of fire. I'd rather they hit this wall safely. I know, fellows, I know. Hopefully they're gonna be okay. Oh, right, right. Ochi is not ice resistant. That's okay, Ochi. I I understand that it's scary. Maybe I need to try somewhere else. That's fine. I want to make sure that my Pikmin don't freeze. Okay. Now my other Pikmin should be a lot more comfy. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing okay. Ochi? This might suck. Perhaps literally. Oh. Oh no. Oh boy. Hmm. No, that's too many Ice Pikmin lost. It's reset time. Ugh. Like, 25 Ice Pikmin is too much. I thought you had to throw them into the mouth of the Cannon Beetle. That's how you get it to open up its, uh, beetle bottom. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it opens up anyway. And I'm just being ridiculous. Okay. So just like before, we disband. Leave everybody here, nice and safe. Fetch a few more ice Pikmin for the cause. Unfreeze this area so that my other Pikmin are cozy. Huh. How do I attack you? How do I deal with all that? Are there any more Pikmin in here? Very clearly, yes. A hundred Pikmin! This is the first time I've had a hundred. And it will probably be the last. For now, at least. Wanna suck? Okay. Ah, alright. Perfect. Oh, no. Uh. Alright. I can three-cycle this guy if I want. But I think the better option is to two-cycle! If I can do it, if I can do it, if I can do it! Nope. Very clearly not, but that's okay. Oh, come on! Ugh. Oh my goodness. Alright, four Pikmin lost is an acceptable number of casualties. And also, there are so many... <laughs> so many fallen icicles in the way. Yeah, come on, everybody. Let's, let's gather up everything. Let's smash this stuff. Well, at least now I know better in case I ever do another run. Alright, another ID to check out. Yay! We found the last one! We found the last of the students! Kaya from Planet Nietzsche. Though a member of her school's planetary science club, the hours she spends cloud gazing rarely lead to scientific observations. <laughs> Aww. A student. Oh, another member of the planetary science club. Let's get her back to her teacher and fellow students. They'll be excited to see each other again. You bet. And I finished that side mission. Oh, this is fantastic. Whew. I think this is going to be a great place to more or less leave off. After we take care of, well, <laughs> everything else. 
Oh. You having fun with that, buddy? You're, you're doing great. <laughs> Keep up the good work, gentlemen. I'll help him in a second. Oh, you got this. When we work together, we can do it so much faster. Is there any tangible benefit to breaking these other than just clearing the area, by the way? I feel like there isn't. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm done dealing with that. Oh my god. Ochi doing a little bounce with the idler's alert? That's so funny. Oh, and everybody got flowered like they did in Pikmin 3 for... Okay. Okay. I didn't know if the Ultra Spicy still did that, so hey, that's good to know. And at least I'm leaving this cave with a much higher number of Pikmin than I did when I came in. It does suck to lose some Ice Pikmin, but what else was I going to use against that boss? <laughs> I certainly don't know what else. Go ahead, everyone. Carry back the statue of the Thinker. What a fun and somewhat random treasure. I love it. Huh? 15,000 Sparklium collected. Amazing! Look at all this Sparklium! And yet, the SS Shepherd's energy tank still hasn't reached its maximum capacity. Intriguing! The Sparklium doesn't seem to possess any weight or volume. You know what that means? No matter how much energy we collect, our tank should be able to handle it. You've done a great job collecting treasure so far. No reason to stop now! Oh, that's fabulous. And we are 100% done with a Sub-Zero Sauna, so... Cool! A one-episode-and-done kind of cave. You know what? That's nice. Sometimes we like the simple things here on this channel. Alright, we got Frise and Kaya. Two pup drive. A whole... well, not a ton of treasure, but... You know, a reasonable amount for a cave this small. Disguise delicacy... Memory Fragment, True Goo, Contemplation Station, <laughs> that's a good one, Nuggets, and a couple creatures. Okay. And I think the big W of this particular cave is the fact that we have gained White Pikmin. This is such good news. To me, at least. I am thrilled to have White Pikmin back. <sighs> Guys, I love this game. I don't know if I made that clear enough in every single episode before this one, but I really love this game. <laughs> okay, excellent. Oh, and we're in Hurry Up. Hmm. So I'm not expecting to be able to do anything else today. Oh man, I didn't even realize there was a treasure over here. That that's that's a bummer. Hmm. What do I want to do before we end the day? You know, I don't really think there is much else to be done. I don't want to do the final cave yet. I kind of want to wait until I've collected the other treasures. So I want to at least start getting this particular treasure back, if I can. Otherwise, we're just going to enjoy a nice scenic doggy ride. Enjoy the beautiful, beautiful sunset lighting of this area. Oh my god. I mean, just look at how gorgeous this place is. I hope this aristocrat doesn't cause me any trouble. He's gonna. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Maybe not today since I managed to sneak past him. But tomorrow for sure. Is the treasure in here? <gasps> ah. Nope, 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 nope. You know, is it- it's- I don't think it's worth it. But I can at least break this. And now we've got something fun to collect pretty much as soon as we get back here. 
Fantastic. <sighs> Another day in game. Another pretty good job, I would say. All things considered. Especially considering I was supremely <laughs> confused on the second floor of Sub-Zero Sauna. Huh. Oh, look at everyone! Hi, guys! I'm back! This feels so good. There's so much pure satisfaction in just returning and seeing everybody cheering for you. That's so nice. Let's check out the other things we got. The Nutalite Shell. Mystery Squish Fish. Slapstick Crescent, of course. Lamp of Inspiration. Okay, I like those titles. 71%. Alright. So I imagine there's probably... Uh, maybe between four to six treasures left in the main area of Serene Shores. There's the Dandori Challenge that I haven't unlocked yet. And then there's, of course, the last cave, which I don't want to miss, and don't worry, we will get to it. But now, we've got our last little end-of-day dialogue, and then I'm going to wrap up the episode. Listen, I've been wondering about something. If creatures are more aggressive at night, not to mention more terrifying with those creepy red eyes, are we safe here? Just stay inside the spaceship and you'll have no problem at all. And even if we are attacked, we'll be just fine as long as Dingo is here. Right? Uh, yeah, of course. Why is he roping me into this? True, that's very reassuring to hear. Thanks in advance, Dingo. Uh, no problem, happy to help. Uh, great, there's no getting out of it now. <laughs> Buddy, he's roping you in because he knows you abandoned him, and he's going to make you feel that. <laughs> he's going to make you regret it until probably the day one of you guys retires from the core. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a cute interaction. I love these end of day dialogues. I think they're an adorable way to build up these characters and get more information. Okay. Whew. Well, fantastic. I think this is a perfect spot to end. We've got some new Russ stuff to check out. <laughs> Thank you, Russ, for advertising. A um, couple new people to talk to. Some rewards to collect. And I think next time... I'm going to do one of the Dandori battles. I don't know if it's going to be this one right by Jin because I do want to get gold. Or I'm going to do the one in Serene Shores. In the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you around. Bye, guys.